Time for a mini boss's location bid. Roll it. Surprise, mofos. After a mini break and a much needed one at that, like it or not, I'm back. I know, that's not me being an Eminem with insane rhyme schemes. So let's slowly get into the new Dragonbone Veil modules, more content, guides, breakdowns, and you know the story. Before we begin, I'd like to give lots of thanks to Carrie Vixen, who helped me find all the locations. So I thank you very much, dude. Much appreciated. Something you should all know, though, beforehand. All mini bosses spawn exactly 10 minutes after they die. I actually went and checked them all in time, though. So you can get a max of six mini bosses of each kind per hour. Just something to be aware of if your goal is to hunt down and kill mini bosses. Also, at the end of this video, there will be a quick reference map to all locations that I created for all of you. So let's start with Dragonbone Vale's mini boss locations. Each area or zone within the Dragonbone Vale has three mini bosses within their boundaries that you can battle, pawn, slap around, bury six feet under, kick in the nuts, or however you want to call it. There are always two stationary mini bosses and one non stationary in each area. And non stationary means it moves around and is not stationary, which means it's moving and not not moving. So if it's moving, then it's not stationary because it's moving. Get it? Good. That's enough procrastinating. So let's get down to business. Follow me. I don't wanna see you. I don't wanna hear you tonight. I don't wanna fight you. You don't wanna know if I feel alright. I don't wanna just forgive you. I just wanna be fine. I've been waiting for a sign to light up. Yeah. And your heart is out of sight. I just wanna feel mine. Our first stop will be the Wormbone Marrows area. So, here's some music for you as you follow me along to our destination. Here is the spawn location for the charred one, our first mini boss in this area, and a moving boss at that. So he will spawn here but move back and forth on a predetermined path, which I will show you as we go to our second mini boss in a minute. All mini bosses have actual names, that is how you can tell it's a mini boss, along with the four red dots over their heads. Other bosses also have four dots above their heads, but they don't drop gear, shirts, and pants like these bosses do. The four dots or red circles, if you prefer to call it that, are just indicators of difficulty and not if they are actually mini bosses. So four red dots does not mean mini boss. Now that this one's dead, let's go to the second mini boss in this area. Along the path that I'm following now is the path that the charred one follows. So if you don't find him where he spawns, which is where I just showed you, then you'll either find him on this path or he's already dead. Here we can find Ognir the Lost, a stationary boss who will always spawn exactly right here. Let's kill him off too. Now let's go to our third and final mini boss of the Wormbone Marrows. The Master Elias of Say is another stationary boss who spawns exactly right here all the time, and I think it's time for his death. the death of Master Ilioth, that's it for the Wormborn Marrows. Let's move on to our next location with some music. I 
feel right Now we have reached our second area called the Quellwater Tarn. Within this area we will find another two stationary mini bosses and one non-stationary, just like in the previous area. The first mini boss we will go after is Commander Draken, who spawns right here and is the non-stationary boss. So now let's just kill him off. The second mini boss we will find in this area is the Ancient Machination, who we actually just reached as you were following me along this path. Kill him off and let's go to our final location of the Quellwater Tarn. The last mini boss in this area is named the Mad King, as you see here. Kill him off too, and that will conclude our third location of the Quellwater Tarn, and the sixth location overall of the Dragonbone Vale. Now let's head over to our last area, the Whetstone Thicket. first mini boss in this area is a non-stationary one called Old Ogie, and he spawns right here. Let's kill him off and move on to our next location. Next one is the wolf. He's a stationary boss. He spawns right up here. Kill him off as well and then move on to our ninth and final destination. I don't wanna see you. I don't wanna hear you tonight. I don't wanna fight you. You don't wanna know if I feel right. I don't wanna just forgive you. I just wanna be fine. I'll be waiting for a sign to light up. Yeah. And at our 
final location, we will find Lieutenant Vrio, another stationary boss who will always spawn right here as well. And once you kill him off, we are done with all nine mini boss locations. Quick recap. In this Dragon Moon Veil module, there are nine mini bosses. All of them drop gear. Six stationary mini bosses and three non-stationary. And there is three mini bosses in each area two stationary and one non-stationary and we only have three areas for now and if you paid attention to the map you'll see at the very top there's a purple area that's blocked off and all mini bosses spawn exactly 10 minutes after they die so you can have a maximum of six mini bosses per hour so that's about it for the mini bosses hope this guide helped as i showed you exactly how to get there and when they are located at the same time more general videos about neverwinter to come it's glad to be back i took a short break but i'm here now and i hope you are all well I kind of missed you goobers. Galactic here. Peace out. Stay safe.